Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today, I just wanted to show you a package called Fluidity. It was made by Matt Brailsford, and it's supported by Umco, which is by Matt Brailsford and Lee Kelleher. So it's this package allows you to um, do CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete uh, for custom tables um, within an Umbrico interface. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get it set up and working using the demo that's on the uh, documentation website. So this getting started, uh, because one of my colleagues wanted to know how to do this. And just from this getting started, he still wasn't sure how to do it. So I wondered maybe some other people might do the same. Or you might just want to have a look at it without actually having to um, do it yourself. So that's what this video is about. So I've set up. Uh, Umbrico instance version 10, the latest one basically 7.10.3. I've d installed it um, using the SQL Compact, so basically I just did the very bare minimum, the default for it. So this is the project page. You can find it through projects and look for fluidity. And if you copy this, install package hour.umbrico.fluidity, you'll be able to install it on your project. So I'm doing it through Package Manager Console. So it goes off and it gets all it, all the all of them it needs to. Oh, nice little bit of artwork there. Anyway, so that's installed Fluidity in terms of the DLLs. So what we also need to do is follow this Getting Started guide. So first thing is to create a table. So I've not done this with SQL Server. I've used SQL Compact Edition. But what's quite good is I can use LinkPad. So I've got LinkPad 5 installed and I can connect to my data. I think Luke Warren showed me how to do this and I can browse. So I've choose connect to data, add connection, connect to data, SQL CE4, browse. And then I can go into my GitHub and I've got this in here in my GitHub. And it's in app data, Umbrico SDF. OK. So that is now connected to that database for me. So what I want to do is create this sample table that they're showing us. So if I go into here, go to SQL connection, choose the Umbrico SDF that I've put in there and then paste that in and run. That's now created me a table so I can refresh this and I can see that the person table has been added. And it's got all those fields that it needs for this demo. The next thing I want to do is create the write some code in the project. So again, just to show you, I've got a very basic Umbrico installed on this. On the solution, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a new project. And I'm just going to do a class uh, library. So if we do C sharp class library dot net framework, the same version as what my website's running under. I've chosen 4.5.2. So I'm just going to do Umbrico fluidity example, and then I'm just going to do dot fluidity as the name, because the other one is dot web. Click on OK. So now I've got this new project. I'll just delete that class in for you. And so we, let's go back to here. So we have the model that we're going to use. So I'm just going to do a new folder called models. And then I'm going to add a class. And just call this person.cs. Going to take this here. And put that there. And one thing I've realized is that I've not actually got the fluidity package installed on this new library. And in fact, I probably didn't need it on the web one. I can, I might need it actually. But what I'll do is I'll just resolve these here first of all. So control dot, and that will say um, add a reference. So actually, I, I think I need a reference to using Umbrico. Ah, uh, this doesn't even know about Umbrico either. So what I'm going to do is install. So I'm going to do add ref. Um, Tools, manage packages, manage NuGet packages for solution. And I think what I'll do is just install Umbrico 
uh, core, not the actual Umbraco CMS. I'm going to in install Umbraco core on that one, latest version. And so hopefully that won't take too long to install that. This is just the, the DLLs that Umbraco uses. And I probably didn't need to do that, but I like to, if I've got a supporting library for an Umbraco web project, I like to have that supporting library um, also reference the Umbraco CMS core package. It just helps with um, being able to reference all the necessary DLLs that you need. So I'm just going to wait for that. I, I don't install the CMS part on that because that's got all the web stuff. I just install the, the core library part of it. So that should be fairly quick to install. Once that's done, I will add fluidity as well. So I think oh, I don't want to break it. But when that's finished, is that finished? Yep, finished. Then I'm just going to install um, fluidity on my library as well. So I'll install that. So currently, while I'm recording this, it's at 1.0.2. So that's done. So I'll just do a, a rebuild the solution. So that's got all the libraries that I need right now. So it's complaining about this. So what we can do is control dot, and then I can do a using of core, Umbraco core persistence on that, and then control dot again, and I can do the database annotations one as well. So that's resolved that. So again, I've not written this code, I've just copied it. It's using table name person, because that's the name of the table that we created in the database. Next, um, we look at the config module. So I'm not really going to tell you much about Fluidity um, and everything that it does. I'm more showing you how to get through this first, getting started and have a play with Fluidity. Um, please use this uh, website for all of the documentation. This is probably the most documentation I've seen for a free package um, on Umbraco. So it's an amazing site. So yeah, I'm not going to go into the full details of it. This is just how I got set up. Anyway, copy this. And I'm going to put this in another folder called config modules. I don't know if we'll need more than one in the future or not, but just to keep it nice and neat. And then create a class. And I'll just call this fluidity bootstrapper. CS and then I'm going to put that inside there so we've got this now and it's going to complain again because it's not got some references so control dot so I can resolve that one fairly easily and person it's complaining about control dot again and I'll just do oh, which one am I on oh yeah control dot on the fluidity view mode so I'll just make sure that I've added a reference for fluidity and one for person as well. So it should want me to reference the models library. So that is all done. That's all the code. Um, let's just have a quick look at it, at the code. So what it's saying is it's going to add a section in Umbraco called database and it's going to use the server icon, the server alt icon. And it's going to have the entity of person and people, so you can add a person to the people collection and with an icon of users. All of the people are gonna have a name, a job title, email, telephone and age. And also you can add a media item as well for a, a file to upload for their profile picture. So that's it. So what I want to do now is uh, give it I'll give the reference to this project from the web one. So I'll just do add reference and then I will do projects and I will pick the fluidity one. So I've not changed anything about the web project really. I did install um, fluidity on it, but what I've done is just a supporting class library here called the same as the web project, but dot fluidity. So let's build this. I'll just do a rebuild and then I'm just going to run it. And the first thing we have to do when it does run, and I managed to get into Umbraco, 
is I need to give myself access to this new section called database that's been created. So I'll just put my username and password in. So if we see here, it doesn't appear, but with Fluidity, what's going to happen is we're going to have this extra section appear at the bottom here. So if I go to users and groups and then administrators and I click on add, I can give myself access to database, submit and save. Now, if I refresh the page, I've got this extra section called database. So this is a collection of people. I can click on that, create person. I can do Paul, Dev, yeah, yeah, yeah. Telephone number and age, 21, obviously. And then I can upload a file. So let's just pick any random image and then save. So that has created a record in the database. And so the uh, this is the whole idea of uh, fluidity. It gives you these controls that you are familiar with. So these are the actual Umbrico uh, controls that you use for other things with your document types and your filling out the uh, content items. So it gives you these, it uses these, but what you're actually editing is a table. So let's have a look here. Yeah. There we go. So we have this um, table now. And what it did when we uploaded the media item, it's actually put it in Umbrico in the media section. So I've created a record and that's the whole beauty of this um, package fluidity. So we can create, update, delete, things like that. So if we wanted to, we can go into this and I can change it to be something else and then save. So there's the update functionality has that worked yep so now if we refresh this so that's changed it my job title is now as the the um so that's the beauty of it um i think we can also delete it as well i think if i choose that and then delete that will get rid of the record so there's the delete we've seen the read so there's your basic crud operations and for a table there so there you have it. This is Fluidity, and this is how you can use the demo for Fluidity. That's the main point of this, is just to get you up and running, get you interested in it, and then you can take it from there and use your imagination, see what you want to do with it. It's far more advanced than just this, so please have a look at the documentation, have a play with it, put your own validation rules on. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.